Uh, hi, everyone. Morning. I'm San Young. Uh, I'm from uh, Wayne Corporation, Power Department. I'm here today to share uh, some of the idea and the finding regarding to the uh, 48 volt two stage system uh, efficiency optimization through the uh, converting ratio uh, adjustment dynamically based on the low requirement. So we already know that the Google STC structure uh, is very high efficiency. The peak efficiency for 48 volt uh, converting is about 99%. So uh, I found that uh, maybe we can further to optimize the system efficiency uh, by altering the STC converting ratio uh, on the fly dynamically. Uh, when uh, depends on the low changes. So uh, if we, uh, here's my finding is, uh, if we can use higher converting ratio at light low, uh, we can gain some benefit. And uh, use uh, the lower converting ratio at heavier low, uh, we can do uh, better efficiency. So the key idea is uh, kind of similar to the VR, uh, VR switchings, VR multi-phase switchings. We already know that uh, when we do the uh, auto facing, we turn on less faces, uh, and as the load increase, we add the face number to share the current. So this is about auto facing to do the on the first stage 48 volt converting. So we can see the efficiency chart here on the up uh, up upper side. Uh, upper side is the first stage efficiency. We can see that. Uh, 4 to 1 and the 8 to 1 converting ratio efficiency. Uh, due to the soft switching, uh, 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 converting efficiency is not much difference. It's a uh, high efficiency. For 4 to 1, uh, from my EV board measurement is 98.5. And uh, for 8 to 1, my peak efficiency is 97.8. But we can see as the load increased, the uh, efficiency for A to one converting ratio drop. This is the due to the fact is uh, at high at heavy low uh, conduction losses took the uh, major part for the uh, converter. So if we have the same output power, four to one uh, output current is half of the A to one converting ratio. So in heavy low, four to one has a better efficiency. That's for the first stage. But if we look at the second stage, that's a VR multi-phase efficiency. At light low, a blue one is 6V in, which is the A to one uh, first stage output. And this is a, a second stage input. So we can see at light low, uh, 12 volt V in and the 6 volt V in has different efficiency. This is due to the fact that uh, if we have six volt input voltage, we have less, much less uh, switching losses for the second stage. So uh, in this way, uh, we are able to have better efficiency if you tune the voltage at six volt at light low. At the same, uh, when the load increase at the second stage, the efficiency drop. So at heavy load, conduction loss, again, uh, take the uh, most part of the, your switching uh, losses. So uh, we can see that uh, 6V in is no longer has an advantage in efficiency. So as a result, if we combine two-stage efficiency, this is a two-stage combined efficiency. And you can see at light low, if we switch at uh, the 8 to 1 company ratio, we can have better two-stage efficiency. And the heavy load, uh, we operate at a four to one company ratio, we, has we have better efficiency. So as a result, we have an a, a envelope like this. Just like your auto-facing in your VR multi-face, we are able to uh, adjust and optimize the two-stage combined efficiency if we change the company ratio on the fly. 
Again, this is a measurement data from our EV board two-stage combined efficiency. So we can see uh, when the load is 50 amps, 8 to 1 company ratio uh, power losses is about, about 2 watt less than 41, 4 to 1 company ratio. As the load increased to 100 amps, uh, there are not much difference between 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 company ratio. And as low increase to 150 amps, the efficiency is better with 4 to 1 company ratio. And uh, at uh, 200 amp output amps, uh, we can see that uh, 4 to 1 power losses is uh, 11 watt less than 8 to 1 company ratio. So here's uh, some recap of the STC converter. This is a 4 to 1 com uh, STC converter. Blue MOSFET and the red MOSFET share uh, 50, uh, almost 50% duty cycle. And uh, C, uh, it's composed of the uh, resonant tank, which is a CR1 and the CR2, and the fly cap, which is a CF1 here. So, uh, this is uh, basically a 4 to 1 conflict ratio. So we can know that the converting ratio is proportional to your capacity lags here. If we have three lags here, we have a 4 to 1 conflict ratio. So as a result, if you wanted to do 8 to 1 conflict ratio, there will be uh, seven capacity lags in your circuitry. So here is how we do 8 to 1 and 4 to 1 conflict ratio changes. So on the upper side, this is A to 1. I, I did some adjustment. I replaced the flying cap by the resonant tank. Uh, that is a, a way we can do the converting ratio exchanges. So when we, do, when we replace the uh, resonant tank, uh, sorry, flying cap by the resonant tank, uh, we keep the same uh, resonant frequency. So in A to 1, the resonant frequency is L times your uh, CR. And the bottom one is 4 to 1. When you keep uh, the same resonant tank, you parallel the resonant legs. The frequency keeps the same. So there are the resonant frequency in 4 to 1 in this circuitry is still uh, L times your uh, CR. So we are able to parallel your resonance and uh, to do the current sharing in your heavy load. So basically, uh, when you do the uh, efficiency optimize, we are using A to 1 to generate the lower output voltage of first stage. And we are using the 4 to 1 to have higher output voltage. And at the, at the same time, we share the current uh, into uh, in our resonant legs, so we can do uh, uh, higher upper power. So this is the uh, current uh, current waveform for one stage, only one stage, four to one, traditional four to one, and uh, my method of the uh, parallel four to one. So this is a current in the resonant tank. When you parallel the uh, resonant legs, you are able to cut the current conduct in the resonant tank by half. So this is four to one. So we can say that we can uh, reduce the conduction, conduction losses in heavy load in parallel operation. This is my EV board. I put my uh, business card here is we can see uh, the major power stage, uh, which is main, uh, main switches, uh, resonant uh, choke, and the resonant capacitor and the half bridge. The total size is uh, about the size of your, our business car. So in this business car a power stage, we can generate the 1.2 kW peak power. And I'm using a discrete slow solution for the main switch, which is the Infineon uh, 40 volt, uh, 40 volts of stress for the 
first main switch and the last main switch. And the rest of the main switch is uh, 25 volts voltage stretch. And uh, I, this is a proof of our, my concept co uh, board. So I'm using the DSP controller. And here, another thing is uh, I'm using the uh, class two uh, MLCCS because uh, I'd like to try if when we do, if there are any possible, we can using uh, just uh, X7R capacitor to hit the high efficiency. As a result, um, my four to one converting ratio uh, structure uh, has 90, uh, 98 point, sorry, 98.5% efficiency, which is not bad. So here is uh, some of the sharing of my developing roadmap. In 2018 Q3, I find that this idea may be workable, so we filed a, a pattern here. And uh, on February 11th, uh, we have the first generation, our EV board, and we are going to finish the EV board uh, testing uh, on early Q2. And we are going to build the next board, Q3 this year, and the proof uh, the rest of the uh, idea in 2000 Q4. So as a summary here is, uh, I said before, we, if we can uh, dynamically adjust our converting ratio based on the current, where, uh, and operate higher converting ratio at light low to effectively to reduce the switching loss, and uh, operate at lower converting ratio in heavy low, and the parallel the resonant legs, we are able to reduce the conduction uh, losses in heavy low. So we are able to optimize two-stage combined efficiency. And some of my future work is uh, to uh, simplify my main switch and the driver design, because uh, now I'm using a discrete solution and discrete driver. It's a kind of uh, uh, take a lot of space. Oops. And the uh, uh, second step, I'm, look, I, I'm going to looking for integral solution for the half bridge on the bottom for uh, better uh, zero current switching timing. And uh, the third one of my future work is to define my converting ratio uh, switching point and the hysteresis. Yeah. So this is my presentation. Um, anyone has any question? Okay, thank you. Oh, please. <clears throat> yeah, if you could repeat it. How critical is matching the resonant frequency on each one of the banks? Uh, actually, in my experience, uh, my class two capacitor uh, degrades when we, you do the operation. So I adjust the capacitor numbers uh, until I see the switching, uh, switching node uh, resonant. Because if, it, if your frequency is not matched to the uh, resonant frequency, you will see some spike and uh, dip in your switch node, which is the half ridge switch node. So uh, I add the cap until the spike and the dip uh, eliminated. So to your question, um, if frequency is not matched to your resonant frequency, uh, it will be like a 0.3 to 0.4 efficiency differences. But when you uh, adjust your capacitor number and the, to eliminate the switch, uh, switch node dip till certain level, the efficiency will keep almost the same. And uh, uh, when you add more caps, there are not much difference between uh, efficiency losses. So when you add it to, this is a method to, uh, to see how you sync your resonant frequency and the switching frequency. So uh, in this way, um, when your resonant frequency close to your uh, switching frequency and add the cap, there are not much difference efficiency. That's about 
0.1 and 0.2 percent efficiency difference only. Yeah. Just before the second question, uh, Bob, you are on deck. So if you can come up and get ready, um, and then we'll take another question. Uh, uh, Minji Chen from Princeton University. Uh, thanks for the presentation. I have two questions. Number one is uh, by having this uh, mode switching, you, ha you are changing the volts rating of your second stage. Like originally, your second stage is handling, let's say, six volts, but now you have to design for 12 volts. How do you think about the trade-off on the device on the VR. And the uh -huh. question is, how do you handle the transient? Like, if you're switching from one mode to the other mode, how do mm -hmm. you, it's a big volt jump immediately. Yeah. How do you handle the transient uh, in this case? Mm -hmm. So, uh, first thing, for second stage VR, nowadays, uh, VR are usually using a CLT control, or all the VR, almost uh, multi-phase has a uh, feed forward uh, capability. So, when the V in changes, for example, for COT, COT will adjust the on time. Yeah, so for feed forward, it will adjust on time as well. And the one thing I'm not talking here is, uh, uh, actually, <clears throat> in this method, it's not just a combinatorial change between eight to one and four to one. It's, we can also do a uh, six to one or five to one, seven to one. Because uh, as long as you parallel the resonant lag, because if the, here is a three pair, that's four to one. If you only have one pair re, uh, parallel, that will gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and seven, or uh, six. That would be six to one or seven to one. So we can adjust the, uh, um, we can make steps. It is not like uh, uh, directly from 8 to 1 to 4 to 1. If you want to do the transition, you can do, if you want to, uh, you can reduce the uh, change rate for the uh, input voltage changes by uh, more, uh, more step of the converting ratio. So you can moderate the uh, voltage step for the first, uh, second stage input, yeah. What about the device rating trade-offs there? Pardon? Device rating trade-offs. So if you don't do mode switching, your second stage only handles six volts. But if you do mode switching, your second stage has to handle twelve volts. So how do you how do you how do you define justify the device device rating trade-off? Uh, basically, it's defined. We can through experiment uh, to optimize the. Uh, switching point, because the, in this convenient ratio, it has uh, best efficiency ranges. Yeah, so you can adjust your convenient ratio based on your output power of first stage or based on your output current of second stage. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, thank you.